So grab a cup of tea, grab a biscuit, or if you want, you can grab a coffee if you really want to be that energized before Ray talks. Um, but I think we're more or less ready to go. Are we ready to go, Nathan? Great. So what I'm going to do is I am going to share my screen. Okay. So welcome, welcome everybody to Uni's webinar, The Secret to Increasing Your Energy and Leading Cert Grades. Now, for those of you who don't know, my name is Dara, and alongside Nathan, who you're going to be meeting very, very shortly, we are the co-founders of Uni. Now, for those of you who might not know, Uni is your number one career guidance resource. It will help you find your dream college course, whether you're a student, whether you're a parent, and it might even help you if you're a guidance counselor. Now, we're all here tonight to listen to Ray talk about the secret to increasing your energy and leaving cert grades. Now, how tonight is going to run is I'm going to get the ball rolling by giving you a bit of an introduction into uni itself and why we're doing this webinar. Thereafter, I'm going to let Ray work his magic and talk to you about what he's learned through talking to thousands of students over the past few years. And thereafter, we're going to close with Nathan who is going to give you a sneak peek into the uni platform, into our assessment technology. We're going to be giving away a couple of prizes to two lucky students at the end, worth over 100 euro. More than that, even if you don't get this, we're going to be giving you a coupon code to use uni's course recommendation software, a free guide, and we'll be sending you a recording of this webinar. So to give you a little bit of background as to where the idea for uni came from, Nathan and I both were in college together and as we moved through the years we were stunned at the amount of people that were dropping out of courses as we progressed through the years. Now this wasn't just the case in our course but across the entire country and the world itself. In Ireland alone one in four students who come into first year won't end up completing their college course. So Nathan and I wanted to put our heads together to see if we could avoid or could help parents and students uh, avoid this problem that is so easily avoidable. Now, as they say in the medical profession, prevention is always better than a cure. And that's what we want to do at uni. So using our engineering backgrounds, along with working with guidance counselors and students over the past couple of years, we came up with a concept for a uni and built it into what it is today. Now, again, uni is your number one guidance resource to help you find your dream college course. There is a multitude of free, to or free tools on the platform to help you get started. You can search thousands of courses. You can predict your points. And you can even fill out a mock CAO form to make the real thing less scary. And you can, and you can find out your el eligibility for certain courses, all for free. More than that, you can connect with uni's career guidance professionals on a virtual basis to talk about how you can make the most of uni's platform and what college courses suit you best. And more than that, you can make use of uni's assessment technology. Now, our assessment technology will allow you to determine your uni fit. And now you're probably asking yourself, what is your uni fit? Well, your uni fit is a determination of how suited you are to a course that is expressed as a percentage. Now, this percentage is generated through the analysis of your academics, your personality, and your career interest profile. But I'm not going to talk too much about that. I'm going to let Nathan run through all of that at the end. Now, why are we running this webinar? Well, look, it goes without saying that this year isn't or hasn't gone as everyone expected and anything that we can do to help leading certs through this year we're more than happy to help that's why we partner up with ray who is renowned in the education space and is an edutainer uh, that will bring you through this webinar now before we talk uh, about ray and let him take the stage um, it's definitely worth staying to the end now, Nathan is going to be giving you a sneak peek into the uni software. We're going to give two lucky people two free subscriptions to uni worth over 100 euro at the end to two people that will stay. More than that, don't be too disappointed if you don't win because we're going to be presenting everyone with a discount code that you can use to access uni software. And last but definitely not least, we're going to be providing everyone with a free guide 
that will help you choose the right college course as the year progresses. So without further ado, I think it's probably suitable that we let the main man take the stage. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to stop my screen share. And if anyone does have any questions, be sure to put it into the chat as the webinar goes on. Nathan and I will be replying in the chat and moreover, we're going to be talking at the very end, answering all of your questions in a Q&A. So Ray, I will stop share and I will leave it to you from here. All right, hi again, everybody. Um, no, I'm not Ray, yes, this is Nathan. Ray is just rebooting, he's about three minutes away. So what I said is I do, I come on and tell you a bit more about uni while we're waiting. So this was stuff I was gonna cover at the end anyway. So we said, why not chat about it now instead of having a blank screen in front of you guys. Um, so look, at, as Dara said, at uni our whole thing is just trying to help students choose the right college course for them. And um, the reason we're linking in with tonight is because it's been a crazy year, it's been a stressful year. It's been another hit to leave inserts again um, with yesterday's news. Um, so we thought bringing in Ray might be able to help people get a bit of a boost and also kind of start the year on the best possible footing. Um, now, Ray's whole thing is about, you know, helping people boost their grades, which is so important. And boosting your grades leads into getting those high points. But what we found people often lose sight of is that the fact that the only reason you're looking to get those high points in the first place is to find or to try get into the dream college course for you. And sometimes people lose sight of this and they don't give enough thought to trying to choose what college course that is. Um, and oftentimes this leads to college dropouts. So Dara mentioned this earlier, but in Ireland, college dropouts are quite high. Um, in fact, for every four students to go to college, one will drop out before completing their degree. Now, this is a very significant number of people dropping out. It can be heartbreaking to a student. It can be tough on parents, to lecturers, to everybody involved. Um, so what we want to do is, is try to get in there at the start to help students find the right course from day one and help them along their way. Now, there's no doubt it can be tough. We've been there, but hopefully uni can make it that little bit easier. So I'm going to share um, my screen here again for you guys. Back to the PowerPoints. So what is uni? As Dara said, uni is a career guidance platform. Now, what we do is we have two main parts. Our biggest part is our assessment technology. Now our assessment technology will analyze a student's academics, personality and career interest to generate personalized course recommendations in every single college in Ireland. As well as this, we allow students to research over a thousand courses, calculate their predicted CAO points, find eligibility, eligibility for certain courses, practice filling out their CAO and also connect with private guidance counselors. And that is all within the uni platform. So what I'm going to do is just spend a couple of minutes telling you a bit about how uni works, how you can access it. Um, it might be able to make your life a bit easier over the coming months when it comes to nailing down what you want to put in your CAO. Um, as I said, we offer assessments and we offer plenty of free extras in there as well. Now, since launching in March, we've helped students from over 100 schools find the dream course for them. Um, so what I said I'd share here, instead of me telling you all about how uni helps, um, I'm going to show you a quick video from Hannah. Now, Hannah is from Cork. Um, she went to school in St. Angela's and last year she used uni to find what course she wanted to do. I'm going to play a quick snippet of Hannah talking and I'm sure that it will resonate with a number of you and how you might be feeling at the moment when it comes to figuring out what you want to do in college. <laughs> I thought I knew what I wanted to do in college, but when the time came, I wasn't as sure as I thought I was. I heard about this new website called Uni, which helps people decide what college courses they want to get into based on their course recommendation software. And I found it and I'm so delighted I did it. The first thing I noticed about Uni was their platform was visually really cool and it was straightforward and easy to use. I learned that Uni's recommendations are based on your personality and your interests. But what really struck me was that they compare your academic ability against previous college graduates. This is really unique and I don't think it's ever been done before. I entered my subjects, predicted grades, and filled out a fair few questions, which did take a while, but saves loads of time in the long run because they really do get to know you. I learned a lot about myself and what college courses would suit me best, but I particularly liked how they give you a uni for percentage for every college course. Uni helped me narrow down and choose the college courses that would suit me best. 
it gave me the peace of mind and confidence that I needed. My name is Hannah and I'm going to be studying speech and language therapy in UCC next year. So thank you, Hannah. Um, now, as I said, look, I'm sure has, Hannah's story will, that a lot of you will be able to relate to it. Uh, again, she thought she knew what she wanted to do in college, but when it came to really nailing down what course, she found it tough in the end. She used uni and now Hannah, we're delighted to say, has just started studying speech and language therapy in UCC. Um, so what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to show you a quick idea of how you can access uni and how it might be able to help you. Look, for some of you, it might not be relevant. For some of you, it might be able to help you over the coming months when it comes to choosing a course. I'm just checking in with Dara. <laughs> How are we doing with radar? His laptop still rebooting. Okay, so still rebooting. So look, what I'm going to do is just give you a quick run through as to what uni actually looks like and how you access and how it might be able to help you. So first of all, your first part, point of access is our website. So if you visit our website, www.uni.ie, at the very top, you'll see this. And quite simply, you click the Get Started button. As soon as you click this, you're brought to the following, the uni platform. In here, I'm not going to go through it all, but you have a huge array of features and resources there to help you when it comes to nailing down your college courses. You can explore and search over a thousand courses in the country. You can predict your CAO points and continually change this as things advance through the year for you. You can fill out a mock CAO form, which means you favor courses and you can start filling in your top 10, get thinking about those plan A, B, C, D. Um, if yesterday's big um, points debacle has showed us anything, it, means, it shows us that it's very important to have backup plans, to fill out that CAO fully and not just have one or two at the top, because if you are disappointed, um, it's good to have those extra things that, that you're happy with and that you've done a bit of research into. Uh, finally, another research we have is get guidance. So what this means is we link you up with, provide, with private uni professional guidance counselors to run through your assessments and try to help you find the right course for you. Now, the main thing what I wanna actually talk to you about is our assessment technology. And that is what Dara mentioned earlier, your uni fit. You can access this by clicking the unlock button up at the top here. Now by clicking this, you will have registered an account and you can run through uni's three assessment tests to find the best courses for you. Now, as I said, this is broken into three. We have an academic fit test, personality fit test and career fit test. Firstly, when you click into the academic fit test, we take your leaving cert subjects and predicted grades. We analyze them and we compare them to thousands of successful past graduates in Ireland who've gone through college and have been successful to find courses you have the highest chance of excelling in academically. When you're finished that test, you log it and you move on to the personality fit test. When you've completed that, we look at your personality type based under the Holland codes. Now there are six Holland codes. We will mark you accordingly and give you percentage fits for each one of the Holland codes. Now they say that the key to being um, happy and successful in a career is to find a career path that matches your personality and that's where the Holland test comes in. Finally we have the career fit test. So when you run through the career fit test we look through and we compare different career scenarios to see whether you would like them or dislike them and we rank you then your top five career scenarios in over 30 career sectors. So when you've done all three tests our computer gets to work and the software in the background and it may take up to an hour for the software to run its magic and then you get your results which will look like this. First, you get your personality fit. So this is one we had run earlier, a dummy one. And what you'll see here is I get my top three personality types based on percentage. I can look at each one, find out a bit more. So it'll tell me a bit about the artistic personality type. Don't worry, you don't need to read Latin. This Latin is just a filler for when we're running the demo. As well as this, we'll be able to tell you a bit about what celebrities match personality types and other uni users, what personality types they are compared to you. After this, You'll be able to run your career fit test and we give you the following report. We give you your top five career sectors ranked from one to five. So my number one is engineering here, which actually worked out quite well. It's what I did in college. And we also give you some insights about salaries and further things about the degree. And finally, we give you your course fit. Now I'm going to break here for a sec. I'll come back to it after and tell you what the course fit means. But at a first glance, these are your top five courses for every college in the country ranked by your percentage uni fit. Now, it looks like Ray is back up and running, so I'm gonna get over to Ray. Thanks for bearing with us, guys. Okay, we're gonna hand over to Ray now. Thanks a minute, everybody.
no volume here, Ray, if you can just pop on the mic, just so everybody can hear you chatting. Hey. So, have you, got, have you got me now? Perfect, Ray. Work can you away. see me? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Okay, great stuff. I'm just going to share my presentation. Thank you for your patience. And uh, it's a kind of sign of the times of what's happening uh, here this evening. One thing I've learned is this, and uh, just to crack straight in, I want you to grab a pen, grab a piece of paper. We're gonna move fast. Obviously, we've a bit of time to make up. Uh, but the first lesson I want you to write down is this, and I've just learned this, and the lads have just learned this. We're all learning this. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. So tonight I'm gonna to fire out a lot of good information. There's the first lesson get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I can tell you the last 10 minutes have been very uncomfortable because my screen literally froze, uh, my computer, I had to reboot it, and um, it was uncomfortable. So one of the things that about the current climate and what's happening right now is learning to adapt and being comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I don't know for you guys, that you're uncomfortable right now. Uh, you know, going into school every day, sitting there with a mask on. And just to get a gauge, if you just type in, I'd love to just get a feel for the audience. Um, you know, how many uh, leaving certs are on the line here tonight? So if you just type in LC, uh, that would be great. Uh, just to kind of get a feel of how many I've got. If you're fifth year, put in fifth year as well. So fifth year, I love fifth year. Great year for actually checking out courses. Loads of leave inserts. Thank you for your patience and hanging on the line. So by the way, persistence is everything in this game. So I applaud you for sticking with the lads. Uh, I know for the last couple of minutes, they've done a great job filling in. A couple of fifth years, mostly leaving certs. Great, you're gonna love this evening. Okay, we're gonna start with a quick story. I'd like you to imagine this girl called Shannon. Shannon picks up her wheelbarrow. She goes to the edge of the shore and she's standing on the edge of the shore and out there's lots of black water. Think of the color black. So she jumps in her boat, which has no oars. And because the boat has no oars, the man comes down and bans her from owning a boat. Okay, what did I say the girl's name is? Shannon, what does she pick up? The wheelbarrow goes to the edge of the shore. Out there is lots of black water, jumps in the boat with no oars, and then the man comes down and bans her from owning a boat. So we just learned six objects in 60 seconds, and you've just done a geography lesson. You've just learned the six largest rivers in Ireland. Let's have a quick look. The largest river in Ireland is the River Shannon. The next one is the, not the wheelbarrow, the River Barrow. Third is the river, sure, she goes to the shore. Out there is lots of black water, jumps in her boat with no oars, the river Nor, and sixth one is the river Ban. How many of you thought that was easy? So that's an example of what I do. And for any of you who've been to my seminars or events, you know what I show students is to learn twice as much in half the time. And that's what I wanna help you with tonight. And I know the title of this seminar is called The Secret to Increasing Your Energy and to Raise Your Grades. So that's what I really want to do because to me, energy is everything. Will you write this down, please? Energy equals achievement. Energy equals achievement. So if you want to achieve stuff, you need good energy. But the problem right now, the big problem is there's so much noise, there's so much negativity, there's so much draining us every single day. That's sucking our energy. So I want to help you with that this evening. And to me, the number one thing you can do for your energy levels, because if you're in the Leaving Cert, the Leaving Cert is a difficult year in, in normal years. Um, but in this particular year, and I know for a lot of you right now, you're nervous or you're freaked out when you see what's happening today and what's happened to the class of 2020. You're thinking to yourself, I've missed school since March. Uh, you know, I've missed all those classes. Can I make that up? I'm running out of time. Will my project work count? Is next year's exams going to happen? So there's a lot of uncertainty right now. And as I know there's a lot of questions firing off in your brain. So to me, the number one thing you can do to get to take control of your energy levels, because you need to pace yourself this year and you need good energy is this, you need to make a decision. 
So you need to challenge yourself right now and to actually decide what way is this year going to go? Are you going to be reactive or proactive? Now, here's the thing. We can't control COVID. We can't control the pandemic. We can't control things like what's happened today in the leaving search. You can't control any of those things, but what you can control is your attitude. You can control your mindset. So I want you to write this down and it's this, if it is to be, it's up to me. So write that down, please. If it is to be, it's up to me. So in other words, no matter what happens, no matter what happens this year, it's up to you to actually take control of your attitude towards that thing that happens, okay? So there's certain things we can't control, but there's a lot of things you can control. What can you can control? Well, you can control what you do every day. You can control who you listen to. You can control what you uh, look at on social media. You can control how much news you look at. You can control what you eat. You can control what you, uh, when you sleep. So there's a lot of things you can control. So to me, energy is about controlling all those things and actually generating good habits and to be able to take this year and actually go from, and I'm going to reframe you this evening. I'm going to change your thinking towards this school year. So I promise you're going to get a lot out of this evening, but the first thing that you need to do is get into the game. Will you write that down, please? My program is called Raise the Game. How I think of school, it's like a game. How I think of business, it's like a game. And, you know, I love working with the two guys, Nathan and uh, Dara, because, you know, these guys are young entrepreneurs. They're in college. They're noticing pain points out there and where there's pain there's profit in other words entrepreneurship is all about solving problems and you know i'm an entrepreneur i'm a business person and i just love working with guys like nathan or dara and i applaud their initiative because they're seeing the challenges right out there right now and uni what a great solution because right now you know you're seeing that there's a huge emphasis not just on your one two three choices now you need to do a lot of research on your four five six seven choices but what's happening right now is for a lot of students, we're paralyzed. We're paralyzed because of the fear of what's happening. And also we're waiting for something to happen. We're waiting for an announcement or we're waiting for a gun to go off. Guess what? The gun has gone off. So you can sit back and watch or you can get into the game. And my game is all about setting goals, the right attitude, having a methodology and good energy. And if you've got those four things, you are going to succeed. You will do the business, okay? Maybe not in the short term, because sometimes you got to take a few hits along the way. And that's natural. Failing exams is normal. Um, not doing well. Well, at certain times, you think about Michael Jordan. The reason Michael Jordan, if you've watched The Last Dance, became the great Michael Jordan isn't because he was naturally talented. It's because at the age of 16 years of age, he was dropped from the team. He was dropped from the basketball team and he stormed into the coach. He said, coach, have you cut me from the team? He said, I have, Michael. He said, how have you cut me from the team? I'm the best player. He said, You've, I've cut you from the team because your attitude, Michael, you're late for school, you're late for training, you're late for class, you're not putting in your homework, you're cut. And he stormed out and he did something interesting. That summer he trained for one, two, three, four, five, six hours. And when he came back to school in his final year in high school, he swore he was going to prove to the coach how good he was. And that's exactly what he did. And he said in later life, why is it that makes you so the great Michael Jordan? How do you stay motivated? And he said this, I think of the locker door because every Thursday, the team sheet was put up on the locker door. And that particular Thursday, his name wasn't on the team sheet. So my question to you is this, what's on your locker door? In other words, who have you got to prove something to? Is it to yourself? Is it to your parents? Is it to your teachers? This is what creates fire. So I'm gonna talk about fire in a few minutes because if you want to get fired up for this year, and I suppose a couple of points I want to, I want to really help you with, with respect to energy, we're going to talk about focus. We're going to talk a bit about fire. We're going to give you some foundation for each day. I call it the miracle morning. And then you got to filter out the noise. So we're going to talk about that. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of help with respect to directing your future. Okay. So Anybody who knows my programs knows you do not sit around. We get very active, we get energetic. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is to 
put that little voice of negativity in your head over to there. Because when I ask you to do something, I'm going to ask you to bring in this new, strong, empowered part of you. And this voice, this voice, because we got two voices in our head, the critic, we got to put the critic over there. I want you to bring in this strong part of you. And this voice is going to say yes. And you're going to go with what I'm asking you to do. So repeat after me. Yes and just go with it okay so what i'm going to ask you to do is whether you're sitting at home in your kitchen bedroom living room car wherever you are maybe the car you won't be able to do this but i'm just going to ask you to push away from your table right now i got hired for a job okay by uh, doing a little technique called matching and mirroring and it was really interesting what happened was every time the guy was interviewing me leaned forward i leaned forward when he leaned back I lean back when he put his head hand up there that's what i did if he folded his arms i folded my arms at the end of the interview he said to me you're hired do you want the job and that's because i built rapport it's very subtle so i'm going to ask you to match and mirror me for a second okay so let's get a little bit of energy going i'm just going to ask you to push away from your table and I'm just going to ask you to stand up for a quick second. Now, go with me for a second, because I want to increase your energy levels. So just shake off the day, shake off your shoulders, okay? Now, go with it. Do this. I know you might look stupid in front of your parents. Get them to do it as well. And I'm just going to ask you to lightly jog on the spot for a quick second. Five, four, three, two, one. Pretend you have a basketball in your hand. Ten dribbles. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go for the basket, and boom! And we sit back down, okay? So... And you might think that is silly. Energizers are critical when you are studying, okay? Every 30 minutes, a study break. My study sessions are 30 minutes long, by the way. So if I'm sitting down for a two-hour session, I kind of break it into four half hours uh, with little, little windows, little energizers in between those 30 minutes, okay? It's called the Pomodoro Technique, or for me, it's called the study sprint, okay? So big problem for a lot of students today is they're me demotivated, or they lack focus, or you're struggling right now. Can I just ask, and if you type this in, what is your number one challenge right now when it comes to study? So are you stressed, demotivated? Uh, you know, maybe you're looking at this year. What, what are you struggling with right now when it comes to study? What's stopping you? What's distracting you? Or what's demotivating you right now? So if you just type that in, so you're demotivated. Carla, thank you. Procrastination. So we got someone don't know how to study. Uncertainty. Thank you, Caitlin. Anya, uh, balancing it. Not enough time staying. Thank you, Shane. We got Jamie in there as well. So time is a big one. Guys, I just want you to write this down, okay? Uh, distraction, not enough time. I want you to write this down. I've got enough time. There's still lots of time. It's September, okay? Online distractions, too much pressure. Okay, I'm going to help you with that as well. Procrastination, no motivation. Okay, so I'm going to help you with a lot of that stuff. You're going to love what, what's coming up here. Okay, so I know for a lot of you, you're feeling stressed, you're feeling stuck, and for some of you, you're feeling sad. And I know you know, the, you know, the last couple of months has been sad, and I feel a tinge of sadness. Certainly for me, normally I'm driving, you know, going into schools all over the country, and I'm meeting students and teachers and parents, not this year. So, you know, it's really difficult. These are challenging times, and there is an air of sadness around the place. And just let's look at the big picture. I don't have to remind you, but the world has been disrupted on such a huge scale. The Leaving Cert, this 100-year-old institution, didn't happen this year. And I know a lot of you are really, really, you know, stressed thinking about next. I think based off this year, they're going to do everything they can to make next year happen. By the way, the department is on your side. They want you to succeed this year. For example, in Irish, they've cut the Shiraz from 20 to 10. So a lot of the courses have been cut. So really, we got to take control. Remember I said, if it is to be, it's up to me. You need to dial down the negativity. I'm going to help you with that. But the world has been disrupted. In the US, for example, 47 million people have lost their jobs. Nowadays, job security has gone out the window because we're all working from home. And then it's harder, just life seems harder to you know, do things, go to, go to the shops, meet your friends, uh, go out for a drink, um, all of those, you know, and, and getting a house now, all of these things. And in Ireland, here's a big statistic, 50% of people under the age of 25 are unemployed. That's 50%. So here's the big, big statistic. And imagine this, and 
I know for a lot of you, you're 17, 18 years of age. Statistically speaking, by the time you're 25, and imagine your class or your year, imagine your, your class sitting on a bus. Um, that means that one out of two of you have no job. So just imagine sitting on the bus or sitting in your class, half of the class, the person sitting beside you, either one or two of you won't have a job. Now, here's the question. If one out of two are not working, what's the other one and two doing? They're working. So there is a lot of opportunity out there right now. So my question to you is this, which side of the bus do you want to be on? Where do you want to be? Do you want to be on this side or this side? And guess what? Out of the 100 people on that bus, 20 earn more money than the other 80. So they're at the front of the bus. I want to get you into the top 20 because you guys are in a competition right now. And we've seen how tough the competition is this year for, for, for places in college. And I know a lot of you are scared of being marked down because that's been the big challenge this year, okay? And points have gone up so much. And that's why you need to do your research. That's why uni is really, really uh, an excellent resource to have a look at your second, third, fourth, fifth choices. But there is so much noise out there right now. So I wanna help you with that. And here's what I'm gonna ask you to do. Will you write this down? Filter out the noise. This is your next F. There's a couple of Fs here tonight. First was focus, the next one is filter. You gotta turn down the noise. How do you turn down the noise? This, okay, this. It is turning off the notifications on your phone. So if you're getting updates every day telling you how many people have infections, or if you are tuned into social and you're looking at your Twitter feeds and your news feeds, uh, and I know uh, that's what I was doing at three o'clock in the morning. And I have this tendency straight away to look at news. So you've got to turn down the news. And equally, you've got to filter out what people are saying to you. So this is really, really, really crucial. Here's a student that sat my program in March of last year. Her name is Cassandra. Uh, she was up in Sligo. And she came to me at the end of the seminar and she said, do you think it's possible to go up by 200 points in your leaving cert? She was a repeat student. And I said, yeah, of course, it's, it's absolutely possible. She said, well, my friend said, you can't do it. I said, you got, it. you got the wrong friends. So you have to be very careful who you listen to. Guess what? Six months later, she contacted me to say she went up by 200 points in her leaving cert. And I interviewed her from Trinity College. That's episode 37 on my YouTube channel. Go follow my YouTube channel. Watch that episode 37. It's brilliant. It's 20 minutes. And you will learn more in 20 minutes than you will in 20 hours. She will tell you the mistakes she made the first time she did the Leaving Cert versus the second time she, she made the Leaving Cert. And she said this. I'll give you the big headline. She said, you know what, Ray? It was a bunch of questions. It was a bunch of questions. That was it. So often, it's not the actual uh, leaving cert, it's the fear of the leaving cert. And I totally get that because of all the things that have happened this year to class of 2020. But this is also 90% mindset. So it just goes to show you that you've got to filter out not just what you consume on social, but who you're listening to, okay? For me, my goal was to do the BCom in UCD. Why? Because in fifth year, I was chosen with five guys to run the school shop. And I thought, I like this business thing. So my goal was to get the Bachelor of Commerce degree in UCD. So that meant 450 points. So for me, that was really, 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 really crucial that I broke down how many points I needed. So one of the things I do with my students is I get them to list down their subjects, list down uh, what grade you need in each subject. And that way then you start to get more focused. Um, I remember the first time, because the first time I did the leaving cert, it didn't quite happen for me. And I remember going into the principal's office uh, on results day. Now results day back then uh, was a bit different to today. There was nothing online because uh, this is a while ago. And uh, I remember my principal handed me the envelope and I opened up the envelope and it was all C's and D's. And when I added up my points total, I was 150 points short for my first choice. 
And I remember going down to the canal beside Crow Park because I went to school in the center of Dublin, O'Connell School. And all the lads were down there whooping and hollering and celebrating. If you've ever seen the film Harry Potter, it was like a scene from the first movie where they're all going off to Hogwarts for the first time. They're all getting on this magical train. It felt like I was standing on this metaphorical train station watching everybody else take off for this magical place, except I didn't have the ticket to get on the train. And man, that hurt. And I remember going home to my parents that evening and I said, you know what? I'm going back. I'm going to repeat. I'm going to get that place in UCD. And they said, we'll support you. And the next year, that's exactly what I did. And the good news is when I got my envelope the following year, I got my place in UCD. I nailed 450 points. So here's the next thing. And, and I suppose for me, what education about is confidence. And sometimes when you fail an exam, uh, it, it, it knocks your confidence. But equally, sometimes failure is a good thing. And I'm going to elaborate that on that in a few minutes. So, you know, when I think about the Leaving Cert and I think about, uh, you know, exams, um, you have to remember it's not a level playing field out there. And I work with a lot of every type of student. Um, but some people, and there is a certain uh, cohort of people, um, so 20% of parents spend five times more money than the other 80% on their education. So to me, uh, it's not a level playing field. And we know that students who come from affluent areas earn 30% more than those from less well-off areas. So sometimes where you come from, and also what school you're going to can give you a massive advantage. Now, if you're in a private school or a fee paying school, you have to remember you have an advantage. So you forget that. And sometimes a lot of students and I work with every type of student, you don't have that advantage. So this is what creates fire. You have to look at the fire. So for me, failing the, the or not failing, but missing the points the first time I did the leaving cert, that actually created fire in my belly. Michael Jordan getting dropped from the team, that creates fire. So where you get motivated is not from the successes, it's from the failures. So here's what I wanna to do tonight is to reframe for you that whilst COVID is this huge, huge, huge problem for everybody out there, it's also a great opportunity. And I wanna remind you, could you write this down please? The Chinese word for crisis means two things. It means number one, danger but equally it means opportunity. You see, often the worst thing that can happen to us can turn into the best thing that can happen to us. And I know for me, having to go out back and repeat the leaving cert, I met you know, one of my best buddies to this day, I met him in that repeat year. It actually turned into one of the best years I ever had. So often the worst thing that can happen can turn into the best thing. So danger and opportunity. So that's a really interesting thing. So the question for you is where is your opportunity right now? You need two things in the 21st century. You need skills and you need your education. I had a guy in with me last week. His dad said to me, he's always on the phone. He's spending all this time on TikTok. He's 7,000 fans on TikTok. He said, he's never going to get 400 points. I said, did you ever ask him what he's doing on TikTok? He said, these stupid videos. I said, well, if he's spending seven hours on TikTok, he's learning how to edit. He's learning how to shoot. He's learning how to do graphics. I mean, that's an important skill to have. Now, if you're doing seven hours a night on TikTok and you're not doing any study, then you're putting all your chips on TikTok. And guess what? Two years ago, it was Snapchat. Before that, it was Instagram. Before that, it was Facebook. So it's like, it's like gaming. Every year, there's a new game. So you got to stay with the game. And this is why you have to update your skills and you also need your education. So your education is either your plan A or your plan B. You, you need to bring the skills with it. Okay, so this is where you keep your eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. So this is what I'm talking about, focus. So at the outset of this um, seminar, we were talking about how to increase your energy. So we turn down the noise, but you got to get really super, super, super focused. So how do you get focused? Well, that can be how many points that you want. Here's the power question. What's important right now? I want you to write that down, please. Every day, stuff comes onto your desk. It comes into your mind. People interrupt you. And you got to answer this question in milliseconds. What's important right now? 
Is it important that I check out uh, Sean Mendez's latest post on Instagram or look at Kylie Jenner's latest bikini? Or, well, some of the guys are like, well, actually, yes. Uh, <laughs> well, so, or is it important that I get down and get the work done? By the way, in my seminars, I don't talk about studying for four, five, six, seven hours a night. I talk about getting in and getting the job done. So it's a bit like the All-Ireland. And this year I know is a bit different than any other year, but normally under normal conditions, an All-Ireland happens in September. And you can bet whether it's the Dublin football team or Kerry or Donegal or whoever it is, they're doing their training over the winter time. So could you write this down? The work is done over the winter. The work is done over the winter. It's dark. It's cold. Uh, you know, this is the time we get the work done. So it's a bit like going to the gym. You have to think of studying a bit like your fitness, okay? It's about doing a little bit every day, a little bit and often. So it's about creating good habits and good routines, but it's also about keeping your life going as well. But right now, what's draining our focus is all the stuff on social, it's all the news, and it's our friends. So my question to you is, where's your focus? Is it on your friends or is it on your future? Could you write this down, please? Focus on my future. You see, you're so, you're so caught up in your friends and what they're wearing and who they're hanging out with and what college they want to go to is that it drags our focus. And, and I know it's difficult. Sometimes you fall out with people and you've been excluded from that group of you've broken up with someone and you're not talking to this person. So I know how challenging that is. This is why for sixth year, you got to be selfish. Will you write that down, please? Be selfish. So this is about being selfish for you because this is your future. This is your leaving cert. Here's the study success formula. You're going to love this. This is good stuff, okay? So this is what I teach in my seminars. Uh, I've also got a new uh, online study skills course coming. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit for one second at the end. But the study success formula, here we go. And this is going to really help you get focused. It's number of topics. Now, a topic is a chapter in the book, okay? Number of topics multiplied by number of subjects equals success. So number of topics. So the topics is chapters by the number of subjects. That's going to give you success. I went back and did Leaving Cert History about six years ago. It was 24, 25 chapters on the course. I focused on 12. I created 12 one-page summaries. Uh, I set a goal of getting the H1, and I got the H1. So there's a principle out there called the Pareto Principle. It's called the 80-20 rule. In other words, forget about 80%, focus on 20, and look at the patterns of what comes up because the same type of questions come up all the time. That's why you need to look at the past papers. So really, if you're talking about... 12 to 15 topics. Let's put it at 15 topics or chapters multiplied by six subjects. That means you need 90 to 100 topics, okay? So if it's, a, let's say, 100 topics or chapters for uh, overall, uh, for all your subjects, there's 25 weeks to the leaving cert. So that's about four chapters a week. Now, is that doable? Of course it is. It's so doable. So write this down. This is doable. So it's about breaking stuff down. This is all about focusing on the process. By the way, don't, uh, don't get caught up in thinking about next June r right now. Focus on midterm, okay? You've got to break this down term by term. Let's get to midterm. Now, over midterm, if you get, let's say, if you study three subjects and you study, uh, let's say, a chapter a day over five days of midterm for three subjects, you 15 chapters of your 100 done. So you're already well and truly through this. In fact, you've got a third of each subject done. So this is so doable, okay? This is how you break it down. YouTube channel is R-A-Y-S-E, raise the game. So it's R-A-Y-S-E, it's up there, if you can see back there. Okay, so 90 to 100 topics, okay? So go to the past papers right now, tomorrow, get the past papers. I also work with Less Stress, More Success. They're great books too. This is how I broke down the chapter. There was four on the history paper. There was four sections to that paper, three questions for each part, 12 topics, 12 one-page summaries, boom. If you want to learn how to cut your note-taking time in half, check out my programs, okay? Next thing we're going to cover is how are we doing for time, guys? We're pushed for time. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to launch through this very quickly. 
quickly, okay? Miracle morning, very, very, very quickly. I did say I'm going to increase your energy. Student I worked with last year, his name was Daniel. He said to me, I can't get out of bed before 7.30, 7.40 in the morning. And I said to him, well, I said, if you can't get up out of bed, I said, Who's, who calls you in the morning? He said, I says, you're, you know, how do you get up? He said, well, my alarm goes off at maybe 20 past seven and I hit the snooze button, you know, you, you probably happens to you. And then he said, you know, after about 10 minutes, my mom calls me. I said, dude, your mom calls you? What age are you? He said, 17. I said, 17 and your mom is still getting you out of bed? He said, yeah. I said, if your mother's calling you in the morning, who's in charge? Are you in charge or is she in charge? He said, she's in charge. I said, whose time are you on? Are you on your time or her time? He said, her time. I said, dude, get on to your time. So this is how you get on to your time. You got to get yourself out of bed in the morning. And one of the techniques I teach in my program is called the five second rule, five, four, three, two, one, okay? So he set a new rule. He was going to get up at 7 a.m. every day by myself, by himself, okay? No more mom time. Second thing, put a pint of water beside your bed. Okay, 70% of your body is water. 70% of your brain is water. You should have this on your desk all the time. And also, here's the hack. Night before you go to bed, put the pint of water beside your bed. Wake up the next morning, boom. You're already starting to rehydrate, okay? Number three, make your bed. Write this down. I want to go to, will you to go to YouTube. There's a, an admiral in the United States Navy called William H. McRaven. And he says that uh, Navy SEALs, the best of the best in the United States Defense Forces, are trained when they get up in the morning to make their bed. It takes 60 seconds. But guess what it does? It creates momentum. So here's the secret. Would you like the secret of motivation here tonight? Would you like the secret? I need to see a few yeses go into the chat box. Would you like the secret of motivation? Here it comes. The secret of motivation is this. You can't think your way into motivation. You need to move into motivation. Will you write that down, please? Move into motivation. You see, if you sit around and think about things, you'll end up in your head. If you're in your head, you're dead. Whereas when you get their body moving, and that's why we go to number four, burpees. Will you write that down, please? Burpees, 60 second workout. I see somebody going, what is going on here? You need to create your own workout in the morning. Burpees, why do I put that? It's three workouts in one. It's a, it's a kind of press up, it's a kick jump, and it's a kick up, okay? It's the hardest exercise to do, but if you get yourself going, um, this is how you do it. Fresh fruit, water rich fruit. So I'm talking about oranges, pineapple, lemon. Get seven oranges on the Sunday, cut it in half. Squeeze, takes 30 seconds, but that's full of fructose. Fructose, when it lands in an empty stomach, turns to sucrose, and sucrose is energy. What did I say earlier on? Energy equals achievement. So that's fresh fruit. Power breakfast, fuel up, overnight oats. That's porridge. Haven't got time for super sleep. One quick thing about sleep. If you go to bed with your phone, 60% of teenagers sleep with their phone, okay? That's a big reason that you're tired, and I get it. There's the whole before you go to bed, there's the I love you, no, I love you, no, I love you more, no, I love you more. <laughs> and all of that's or else did you see what Roshin said about you today? Okay, so there's all of that stuff going on. That's why you gotta turn down the noise. Okay, you gotta be selfish with your social, with your phone time. An hour before you go to bed, phone has to dial down, okay? So screen time. So if your phone is in your bed, you're not gonna get a good night's sleep, okay? And sleep is crucial. My friend Daniel was going to bed at 12 o'clock and that's why he couldn't get out of bed in the morning. We brought him back to 11 o'clock and he ditched the phone at 10. That was his routine. So he'd chill and maybe watch a bit of TV, listen to some music. That had a huge impact in his success. He went up by 100 points from his mock exams, okay? Failure, I spoke about failure earlier on. For me, one of the best lessons ever was standing on that train station, watching everybody else take off to their magical course. And I didn't get it the first time. Guess what, I got it the second time. So sometimes failure can be good for us. Mock exams, the night before my maths mock, I went into my dad, I said, I'm not going in, I'm not going in, I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail. And he looked at me, he said, well, fail then, but you're going in. And he made me go in. And I came home the next day, and I came in sheepishly into the sitting room, and he said, well, how'd you get on? I said, I think I failed. He said, good, that'll learn you. <laughs> and guess what it did? Because I went from like 36% 
to, I think I nailed 68 or 69. I went from an E to a C. I went from an H5, I think it was, or H6 to a H3. So I learned more from that mock exam. So go into the mocks. Will you write this down, please? Don't fear the mocks. Use the mocks as feedback. Use the mocks as feedback. So break this down. Get up to midterm, cover 15 topics. By the time it's Christmas, you've got another 25 topics in the bag. Now you're up to 40 topics. Get into the mock exams, nail another four, 10 or 15 topics. You're not gonna have all the course covered, but you use the mocks as feedback. This is so doable. It's about increasing those number of um, uh, chapters and topics over the course of the year, okay? And for each topic, I create a one-page summary. I haven't got time to show you the whiz, whiz grids this evening. That's the gift of failure, okay? Failure can be a gift. So actually look to your failures sometimes as gifts. Okay, your future. I want to talk to you for a quick second about your future, then we're going to wrap things up. And it's this, okay? And it's this. We got to forget about what everyone else is talking about. You got to forget about what your friends are doing. And I know that's difficult right now. And right now you're looking at your friend Padraig or your friend Roisin or whoever it is, and they seem like they've got their SHIT figured out and you don't. Everybody, and they say everybody's in the same boat. You have to forget about what they're doing and you got to focus on your game. And it's not easy because you're going to get phone calls on a Friday, Saturday night, we're going out. Are you coming? And by the way, you have a huge responsibility this year because the first, second, third, fourth, fifth years all look up to you guys. And that's why it's your job to wear your mask and set the standard. Will you write that down, please? Set the standard. But you're not setting the standard for anyone else. You're setting the standard for you. So what's your standard? Where Do you want to travel first class or do you want to travel second class? My advice is travel first class. You want to get to the end of the leaving cert this time next year to know you've given it your best shot. The worst thing is when you haven't given it your best shot. I know we've had the fallout today. I know we've had the fallout over the last couple of months, but you want to at least have the comfort to know that in the class of 2021, you set a strong standard for yourself and you gave it your best shot. Here's the power, power principle, run your own race. Okay, you got 25 th weeks of this thing left. Run your own race. For fifth years, you've got 18 months. Run your own race, focus on your own game. Your job is this, it's not to focus on your friends, not to focus on you know, what, what they're doing. It's the real game is to be the best version of you. How do you do that? Two things, skills and education. Mindset, that's the whole thing, the game. You got to play your own game. So I'm going to finish on that note. I'm going to bring the guys back in. Again, I want to applaud the guys as entrepreneurs and business people. Anybody starting a business in 2021 you, or 2020, you think they're crackers. Actually, entrepreneurship is where it's at right now. So if you look at a job security is being totally whacked. So what you need to do is to actually look at yourself and think about, well, is there, is there something I can do? For me, I always wanted to start my own business. I started with that journey 20 years ago in UCD. Actually, I started in fifth year, and I really started back when I was 12 years of age, when I, so I used to sell lettuce to my local shop. My dad grows lettuce. So that was my first business. So I always wanted to do business. So look at the things that you're good at. Look at the things that you're interested in and try and get paid to do them. That's the secret. Try and get paid to do the stuff that you like to do and put in place your education behind all of that. I hope you got something out this evening. All I'll say to you is this. Next time you cross the river, Shannon, turn to the person beside you, name the six largest rivers, show them how amazingly talented you are. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I have my new course, Raise Your Grades, coming up. Uh, very soon. As I said, I've helped students go up by 100, sometimes 200 points. That's going to be released at the end of October. Uh, if you want to get me, uh, Facebook for the moms and dads, R-A-Y-S-E, Raise the Game. Instagram, if you want to connect with me through social, I do my best to answer questions. YouTube as well, Raise the Game. Guys, you've been amazing. Thank you this evening. Best luck for the rest of the year. And remember, guys, day by day, we are Raising the Game. Thank you, Ray. That was fantastic. Um, I think I should be back in there. Can you hear me all right over there, Dara? Perfect.
Come here. That was brilliant. That miracle morning is something I'm going to have to try myself, I have to say. Um, but thanks for that. Look, as Ray said there, be sure to visit his website, um, raisethegame.com. And there's plenty more to learn there. So I'm going to start sharing here. Ray, if you can stop sharing your screen there, we'll be flying. Thank you. Um, so thanks, guys. So look, we're nearly coming to the end. Um, I know we kind of pushed over towards that hour mark, but um, that was the thing with the kind of technical difficulties. Look, these things happen. We'll try wind up in the next five, 10 minutes. Uh, be sure to stick around to the end. At the end, we're going to run a quick competition with whoever's remaining in here for um, a free uni license to run through all our assessment technology and find the right course for you. We'll also be linking through a recording of Ray's session to anybody who's here at the end, so you can watch that back in your own time. And we'll also be giving out a discount code for uni. So that's an exclusive discount code for today for anybody who was here. So look, over the next couple of minutes, I'm just going to finish off what I was speaking about with uni, just to show you those assessment tools and course recommendations and how they might be able to help you. Then we'll wrap it up nice and quickly, and we'll be sure to tell you what we're giving you out in your email and your kind of pack at the end. So bear with me two seconds. I'm going to pop back to here. So look, as we discussed a second ago, after you've run through your assessments within the uni platform, again, there's three assessments, your academic, your personality, and your career fit. They're highly personalized, and when you're done, it's all building up to this, your course fit recommendations. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna recommend the top five courses for you for every college in the country. Now, if you look in closely, what you see is that for every course, we give you a 97% uni fit, or an overall percentage fit to the course, and that's broken down into your academic fit, based on your predicted grades, your career fit, based on your career interests, and a personality fit. This is the bit where we look at your personality type compared to the personality types of successful graduates from that specific degree. Now, to complete all these three tests and run the assessment, usually to run through the platform, complete our assessments and get your results, costs $49.99 per use. But for today, we've put together an exclusive discount code. Now, the discount code is UniWebinar. It's gonna be active for the next couple of days. So anybody who's on the call today, if you are to go into uni and unlock the assessment tools, um, run through when you get to the checkout, if you pop in, like you can see here at the bottom, uni webinar and apply it, it'll slash down that price by 30% down to 34.99. So that's gonna be there for the next couple of days, just for you guys who came onto the webinar. Um, again, with that, you'll be able to run through all three assessment tests. You'll be able to search thousands of courses, predict your points, fill out your CAO, and find your eligibility for any college course in the country. Now, that's how we can help students and parents. It is worth saying, look, if there's any schools or guidance counselors on the call, we'd be delighted to hear from you. We run licensing and partnerships with schools that you'd be able to provide uni to your students. So if you want to find out more, simply pop us an email at hello at uni.ie and we'll be sure to get back to you. Now, look, I'm conscious of time. I know we said we'd wrap up within the hour. So before we get to competition or before we get to questions even because there's a couple of open questions there we want to answer we are going to run the competition so over the last couple of minutes dara has been putting everybody's name into uh, a hat we put numbers on them and run a random number generator so within that Dara's pulled two names out of the hat for free access to uni Dara. yes yeah, so we'd like to announce the winners can i get a drum roll nathan okay there's a percussionist for anyone who doesn't know uh, we have louise fitzgerald and we have fionn mccarthy congratulations louise and fionn we are going to be sending you an email with all of the instructions to access your free use of the uni platform. Well done, guys. Um, look, it's worth saying too, after the session, we're going to send you all a follow-up email. Within the email, we'll be able to send you a recording of Ray's session. So if you do want to get a boost in the motivation over the coming months, feel free to watch that back. We'll have that to you um, by tomorrow morning. As well as that, we're going to be giving you a free um, a free report or even a free PDF for you guys. It's all about the key of things to consider when choosing a college course. So that's going to be in your info pack. Um, as well as that, we're giving you a link to our podcast. So we're actually launching a podcast this Monday. Uh, the podcast is called Carpool College Courses, where we interview students from courses who did well in their courses. They'll chat about their experience, and it should be a great chance for you guys to learn a bit more about those courses. If you're walking or doing a bit of exercise and you want to pop in the headphones, um, so look, be sure to use the discount code, UniWebinar, pop that in for your 30% discount. And let's have a quick look before we finish up, there's a couple of open questions just Absolutely. to get back to you guys. And it's worth noting to you guys that discount code will be available until Sunday. Um, 
Okay, so look, we're going to go to a couple of questions, uh, if you don't mind. First question, Nathan, since you're on a roll talking, I'll let you answer this one. Can you need partner with schools? Yeah, Laura, absolutely. So look, if you're a guidance counselor or a teacher or a principal, or if you're working in a school, we absolutely do partner with schools. Um, we run partnerships with a number of schools throughout the country already. So if you feel like you'd like to learn more, give us an email at hello at uni.ie. We'd be happy to line up a free demo call, show you all about uni, and hopefully show you how it might be able to make your life or your students' lives a bit easier over the coming months. Perfect. I'll go to the next one. So, Laura, your question, can we use the uni platform now? That's been answered, I think. So we'll move on to Anne's question. Do you use all three tests to find the course recommendation? Yes, we do. So the way it works is that you run through three of the questionnaires, the academic questionnaire, the personality questionnaire, and the career interest questionnaire. We don't give you any results until all three questionnaires are completed because we actually take all of those three questionnaires into account when using our assessment technology. From there, once you've finished, it takes a little bit of time for the algorithm and the technology to work its magic. And thereafter, you'll be presented with your three reports and your results. Um, Brilliant. We have a load of questions flying in here. Uh, so again, Laura, can you use the platform now? You can, absolutely. Again, visit www.uni.ie. You can pop in there, run through it now. It's completely accessible. Don't forget to use the discount code. It'll give you 30% off. Uni webinar, all caps. How do you find the uni fit percentage? So I think Dara touched on that there. Again, the uni fit percentage is something that would be unique to you and only you. We give it to you for every course, and it's an amalgamation of your academics, what you think you're going to get in the Leaving Cert, your own personality, and your career interests. We put them all together to give you a percentage fit to a course. Okay, perfect. Will the podcast be on Spotify? Yes, the podcast will be on Spotify. So just for those of you who are interested, because there's a couple of questions coming in on the podcast, we're going to be chatting to past and present graduates about their course. We're going to be short, 10, 15 minutes chat where you can get real insights into courses that only a student can tell you. Uh, the first introduction episode is actually on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts right now. All you need to do is just Google Uni and you'll find the first introductory episode and our first student episode is coming out this Monday with veterinary medicine up in UCD. Brilliant. Guys, the questions are flying in. So look, we'll try to get to a couple more of them. I'm conscious of time, but I want to answer the questions at the same time. Um, how long will we have access to everything after we pay? Um, great question, Deirdre. You'll have um, access to uni for the full year. So it's not just a one-time access and then you have to wipe out. Basically, when you come into the platform, you'll create a profile. The idea is you create the profile near the start of the year and you keep accessing it. So over that time, your academics might change. You can change that around. You want to be keeping looking at your favorite courses, fiddling around with your mock CAO form, keep researching courses and do the assessments. So this isn't just a one-time event. You kind of grow through the year. A lot of guidance counselors will tell you that interest might change. So when you have your assessments done, the idea is you can keep logging in there for that full year. You can keep researching courses and nailing down what you want to do. Uh, I'll answer your question. Deirdre. I'll move on to Mo next. Mo asked a very good question. Is uni helpful if you're fixed on a course like medicine? So I think if there's one thing we all learned this year is that you, you can never be too sure as to what's going to happen. So even if you are fixed on a course like medicine, which is an extremely competitive course, we all know, it is extremely important that you also have your second, third, fourth, fifth choices ready to go in case something happens on exam day or we're left in a situation where the points mightn't be where you expect them to be. So be sure that when it regards to your CEO form, if you're set on medicine or any other course for that reason, then choose your second course. What would be my next favorite course? What would be my next favorite course over that? And work all the way through the CAO form. Don't just stop at the level eights, also fill out the level sevens and level sixes. We, can, we can't even count the amount of students that have already reached out to us that have said, I'm so happy that I filled out my entire CAO form because at the end of the day, it saved me. Um, so to answer your question Mo, yes, we really do believe that we can help you even if you are set on a course. Okay, look, we'll get to a couple more. Look, there's one quick question here. I'll get to two of them. Um, anonymous question, though. Is there anything we can access for free? Absolutely. So when you access the platform, you can register and create an account absolutely for free. With that, you can research over a 1,000 courses. You can calculate your predicted CAO points. You can find your eligibility, or if you have read the requirements for any course in the country, you can fill out your practice CAO, and you can even access a list and contact details of private guidance counselors within the uni platform for further advice. That's a mouthful, but hopefully that answers you. 
then the premium version is to do the assessment tools. And I said I'd answer in that as well from Audrey here. Can the discount be used for siblings? Audrey, we won't tell anybody if you don't. So uni webinar can be used uh, by your siblings, no bother. <laughs> That's a great question. Um, with regards to some of the questions coming in about the announcement yesterday, with regards to that, we, we, we won't delve into it because I think at the end of the day, some of the, like, the government don't even know what's going on yet. So we're not going to make any comments. Our heart does go out to the class uh, of this year because they really have gone through a lot. Uh, but we hope that it all works out best for them uh, in next week when they do announce uh, the new results. Perfect. Anne says here, um, when did you start working on developing uni? So we've been building uni over just over a year now. And um, last year we were lucky enough to partner with UCC in the development of the academic fit. So that's one of the key parts of the, the assessment technology is that we partnered with UCC and it allowed us, our software team, to access anonymized past graduate data. What that means is that our algorithms analyze uh, successful graduates. It analyzes what course they did and how they did in their leaving cert. We then match those insights back to the leaving certs of today. So that was really the big part of the development over the past year. As well as, well as that, we were lucky to work in with a number of expert guidance counselors who helped us build the platform along the way so to make sure we weren't remote engineers who would be quite prone to getting too stuck into the techie side of stuff. So they kind of kept our feet in the ground and made sure we were developing something that would be really useful and really helpful to students. Um, so Safia, Safia, I hope I got the pronunciation right. She asked a good question. Are we the same as Careers Portal? So when developing uni, one of the things we wanted to be very, very careful of is that we weren't reinventing the wheel. And um, we wanted to create a platform that was of benefit to students and that was new and innovative. Now, the main thing that we want to really nail down here about uni is that it is as personalized as you can get. So not only can you find your uni fit for all the courses, but more than that, we go a little bit deeper into the detail. So if you are interested in doing, for instance, engineering, and you're very good at maths, physics, and applied maths, what we do is we actually delve into your subjects and we tell you which of your subjects best match students that succeeded in that course. So if you're excellent at French, but you're going into doing an engineering course, we'll tell you that, yeah, it's great you're good at French, but you would need to have a decent result in mathematics or physics to have a good chance of excelling academically in this course. More than that, we tell you exactly about whether your interests and your personality match the course, and we do that for every course. So once you've filled out all the questionnaires and gotten your UniFit, you can get that information for the thousands of courses that we have embedded on the platform. Um, Emily says here, will there be more webinars like this in future? Absolutely, Emily. Um, this is the first one we've run this year, uh, it's the, and the numbers were great. I hope you guys got some value from it, but we plan on running webinars like this much more into the future. We'll get there's some great guests out there we'd love to get on to speak to you guys. We'd love to have a career guidance session as well, where we'd maybe talk specifically about just giving tips and useful information about, again, choosing a college course. Like, there's a lot of stuff to do with the leaving or studying or increasing your energy like Ray does. Our whole thing really is about helping you find your dream college course. Um, at the end of the day, for most people, the build-up of the leaving search year to exams is all linked towards trying to find what you want to do in college. So that's kind of our goal. So yeah, absolutely, there'll be plenty more webinars to come. And we'll have a backup laptop as well for anyone wondering. Yeah. Do I access my own academic results or do I get feedback from my teachers? So that's a good question, uh, Kriva. So the way we wanted to work or the way we wanted to build uni was around uh, guidance counselors and schools. So with regards to getting your results and um, showing them to your guidance counselor, we more than recommend it. We work very, very closely with our own career guidance professionals and with guidance counselors in schools. Now, the best way to do it would be go into your career guidance or counselor, talk about where you might see yourself, use the uni platform then to figure out, okay, this is where I lie statistically in the data, and this is, these are the courses that seem to suit me best. Thereafter, there's no harm in having another chat with your career guidance uh, counselor, whether it be in school or on our own platform, just to solidify confidence in your decisions and make sure that at the end of the day, you're making as informed a decision as possible. A uh, question here from Pa. If I don't know what grade I'm going to get in my leaving cert yet, should I do the survey? I just started fifth year, so I'm unsure. 
So look, great question, Pat. Mm -hmm. So obviously, as the years go on and as you get through six years, you're going to have a better idea of specifically what grades you're going to get. Uh, but that doesn't mean that it's too soon to run these types of assessments when you're in fifth year. So as we've run more and more, and we've had more people run through the platform and the developers have looked at the insights in the background, what we've learned is that the biggest links through your academics to the course that would suit you isn't specifically to do with what uh, H1, H2, H3 you get in that um, exam. It's to do with the level of it. So say if you are doing higher level maths and you have a good idea, you're going to be doing that for the Leaving Cert. That's a huge indicator, more so than if you're going to get the specific H1, 2, 3, 4. So that should be something you'd have a good idea of in fifth year. Also, what you can learn about in a big way is about your personality and your career interests. So while we do give your percentage fit to specific courses, we also give you a report all about your personality. We'll tell you about your personality into six different personality categories. We'll tell you your percentage fit to each of them. We'll tell you about people who are like you. And we also link you into what courses or careers link back to your personality. As well as that, then there's the career interest. So we link you through to specific career sectors that you would be well suited to based on your interest. So while the academics make up a big part of it, there's a lot more to learn about yourself rather than just about your specific academic predictions. So hopefully that answers your question, Pat. Hi guys, there's a couple of lovely comments coming in here. First of all, thank you all. It really does mean a lot. Um, the one, the questions come up a couple of times. Do we only do CAO courses and can you also get access to international courses? So right now at the moment, the uni, the uni platform facilitates level eight CAO courses. So there's over a thousand them throughout the country in over 24 colleges. We haven't integrated level sevens or level sixes yet, or we haven't integrated international options yet. We really wanted to make sure that we really nailed down the level eight courses first and got that right. And thereafter, we'd be looking to expand into the other ones in the future. Great question here. Uh, so I can't see the name, but would you need benefit someone who has no idea what they want to do? That is the ideal case for what we want to do at uni. Um, I was there a couple of years ago and I was doing the Leaving Cert and trying to figure out what I wanted to do in college. I was a bit lost. I was lucky that engineering suited me, which is what I studied, but I ended up picking it because it was quite a broad course and I was terrified I'd get pigeonholed into something I didn't know what I wanted to do. If there was assessments that I could have done like this, I think they really would have benefited me. Um, again, in the three categories, to learn more about what careers you could see yourself in. Like the idea we, what we want to do is match you to the end goal after college. So see where you could see yourself working, what career, what personality matches that career, and then work it back to see what courses bring you to that end point. Instead of just looking at what course you might enjoy, it's better to see where you see yourself working in the future. So if you don't know what you want to do, this should be a good way of seeing what fields, helping you narrow that down, get those top five courses, have a chat with your guidance counselor then after that and see if you can nail down specifics from there. And so we have another anonymous attendee asking, is there an email we can sign up to receive news or information to do at uni? Yes, absolutely. So if you sign up to the uni platform, which you can for free, uh, you'll get all the updates and all the information that we'll be sending out. We do loads of blogs. As Nate mentioned earlier, we do podcasts. Uh, we do loads of content to help you research better also. More than that also, we have a sign up page on our blog. Uh, where you can fill in your email address and you'll also be added to the email list that way. Uh, a question here from Kate. Are you going to run your events again? I went to one last year in Republic Work and it was really helpful. Oh, I'm delighted you were there, Kate. Um, for those of you who don't know, we ran an event last year in Republic Work. We call it the Uni Open Day. And we got a ton of students from the most in-demand courses in Cork in to interview them in front of a live audience about their experience in college, what they're doing now, and help students nail down courses. That's something we're hoping to do again soon. So look, um, be sure to subscribe to our mailing list and we'll give you a shout if anything like that is to come up again. Look, we'll get to maybe one more question and we'll wrap up because I know we have gone a fair bit over time here, but any other? Jeez, there's a ton of questions there. Anything else there? I think we've answered it. I think we have Darius losing his voice here. I am losing my voice here, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> so maybe that timing was probably good. Look, um, thanks everybody for showing up. Uh, thank you to Ray. That was a fantastic session. I feel really motivated after it. Yeah. over with you, Dara. Yeah. So I hope that helped. Um, look, we're going to send you an email after this. We'll give you the discount code for your discount if you want to use uni. Again, that discount code will be UNIWEBINAR, all caps. Uh, we'll send out in an email. Uh, as well as that, we're going to send you a recording of the events. So you'll be able to watch back Ray's session if you want to boost again afterwards. And uh, we'll also be sending you a pack. So in that pack, there's going to be a free guide, basically the keys, the 
<laughs> the key things you need to consider when choosing a college course. So that's going to be a free downloadable guide for you guys within the email. Um, Thanks, guys. And look, if anyone has any feedback with regards to how we ran the webinar tonight so we can try and improve it in future, again, my voice is going. Uh, but please do send us an email, hello at uni.ie. Uh, we'd be delighted to hear from you. Yeah. Uh, and thanks for the lovely messages as well coming in. Uh, thanks, guys. It does mean a lot. Look, we hope to hear from you again. Thanks for tuning in and stay safe.